Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. Uh, what we think it just happened. Uh, the year the yard is nearly empty. We sold cars finally. Uh, not too many of them because we don't have too many of them because we couldn't find any and then we run out of money. <laughs> um, you see one of the short one of my short videos the other day. Uh, this one. Yeah, the smoky Ford. Guess what? Uh, we put a new engine in, <laughs> and um, everything is fine with it now. And uh, it's been for sale for uh, half a day, and it sold already. And didn't even have the time to make a video on it. Um, yeah, so EcoBoost, they do sell. Um, anyway, the car we bought. Um, that's why you have to be really careful about how you buy these cars to be honest it's really really dangerous everything is dangerous of these particular engines with the bloody eco boost engine um this one uh the engine was completely failed due to a cracked cylinder head yeah we had to do a new engine on it had no other choice and the uh, new engine on this there's no it's not cheap at all um we paid, in total, with the engine and the servicing and everything, I mean, the engine itself is about uh, 1,500 pounds, so it's 1,500 pounds, just for the engine. And uh, then, obviously, you have to do a service and check everything on it, um, plus a uh, new MOT and everything on the car, so we end up, in total, spending on the car about 1,700 pounds to put it back on the road because that was the only way we could get the money out of it because there was still money into it uh, either way we haven't made as much as we planned to do or we were hoping to do uh, it's been well much less so the whole uh, spending on it has been uh, we bought the car for 2700 delivered to the yard um, then we put a new engine in and other bits. Anyway, by the way, the engine is, it came off a Kuga 2016 car. Funny part. <laughs> None of the weird wiring loom fit on the Ford, on the Focus. So we had to remove all the wiring loom off that engine, put the, this wiring loom for the Ford on it from the Focus. And it works. It did work. Uh, it's been smoky for a couple of days. I had to drive it because um, when the cylinder had cracked, uh, obviously the oil and everything just went around the engine everywhere inside the exhaust a lot and uh, it was burning off the exhaust and I uh, kind of have to do a bit of a driving so we can burn that one off all of it to to make the car look clean but thing is it did sold uh, it sold for five seven five two nine five on finance uh, on the asking price so uh, we still had left about uh, pum, pum, how much? 900 pounds on it. Profits. 900. Yeah, 900. Uh, eight, 895. Then taking the VAT down, we've been left probably with 200 pounds in our pocket. VAT margins is a proper steal, a proper rip off. You know, you have to pay it either if you spend the money or not. You know, so when the car goes into detail. It is what it is, especially on finance, you can't hide anything. So, yeah, VAT margins are a complete, complete rip-off, and I don't see the point of them, but they have to be done. You have to give money to the king. Anyway, by selling that, but now it's not that bad, because we got this one in part exchange. So this is a 58-plate Kuga with uh, 155,000 miles. Good fact about it, uh, it's not in a bad shape at all, except the rust on the arches, which I can fix and uh, sort out myself. It's here, this one is peeling off already, and um, this side is bubbly as well, so I have to sand this one down, just get some rust protector, just put some filler primer down, painting it, and that will cost me about probably less than 50 pounds to do it. 
say the advantage of being able to do stuff in React. In theory wise, um, not bad, it's dirty obviously, but besides the bolsters and everything, they look quite good. This one needs to be stitched back on, it's not a problem. I'm looking to get a new one because this one is completely worn, all the bloody paint is just worn out. What a stupid design for they did on it. But other than that, starts on the bottom, straight away, literally on the bottom, it's got the keyless start. I don't have the key with me, but you can press this one here, bang, it runs the engine. Fun. It obviously needs a good clean. Um, it's got the spare wheel and everything. Uh, it's a nice color as well. So yeah, we have a spare wheel. It's got all the documentation. It's got some service history. Not too much. Uh, but for the last... Uh, this owner had it from 2009. And she put 2019 actually. Uh, and she did spend some money on it. Uh, including three week, three months ago, a new clutch, which is quite good. And uh, yeah, we paid uh, retail value. I mean, part exchange was bought 1350 on it. The retail is uh, about 2995. Uh, we made a deal on 1000. Um, I think this one can do easily two and a half. So it's still like 1500 left on it. Uh, if I'll make it properly, but I'll probably just paint it a bit on the sides, give it a nice clean and stuff like that, and put it for sale as a part exchange disposal for 2000 you know just for someone to have it cheap is 155,000 miles so I don't think anyone will expect to have some bloody warranties on it because I will not give any none of them yeah <laughs> uh, it's understandable by the age of mileage this uh, you can't put a warranty on it it's impossible for 155,000 which to be honest, for a two-liter diesel engine, it's not, it's not the end of the world. It's still got lots of life left in it. I mean, you can see a lot of Mondeos, they've been ex-taxis and stuff like that with the same engine, so they did it well. But this one, having a new clutch in, I think, given the area we are in, uh, it's a lot of countryside and stuff like that, I think someone to, just to take the dogs out on the beach and stuff like that would be a fantastic car. So, yeah. Um, what else does it need? Uh, it doesn't need tires. The tires are good. The wheels look good. Uh, this headlight needs to be sanded down and relacquered. Probably the other one will do the other one as well. Uh, there's a bit of a touch-up down here. I'll have some paint and I'll be buying it for the for the arches. And uh, we need to find one of these, probably 20 quid as used on eBay. And I think we'll make a nice car this one, to be honest. Really nice cars. And I went out, I went out with it on the road. I drove it for a couple, about five miles. The thing goes. Really goes to be honest. It's, <laughs> I'll not mess around. It goes. It's got quite a lot of power, which is fun, and uh, <coughs> I'm pretty much sure it will really, really, really help someone out to have a quick run around. Simple as that. What else has happened? We had a fantastic mini countryman. Yeah, boy. Uh, <laughs> this one we bought for uh, uh, is the all four edition. Uh, piece of props, diffs or something. The diff was broken on it. Uh, we bought a new one for uh, 320 pounds or something on eBay. Now it's been replaced. The car goes like stink. And it had a brand new timing chain in it. Done by the previous uh, owner, which then sold it due to the timing chain issue, uh, to the diff problem. <laughs> so yeah, we got ourselves our bargain. We paid only 3,000 on it. Retails for 63. Um, yeah, what can I say? Good money in this one. Um, it's only 87,000 miles as well. Um, and another bargain we picked up last week is this C4 Picasso here. Um, it's only 50,000 miles on a 15 plate. It's the 1.6 diesel. Um, and uh, this one has been uh, involved in a bit of a damage. Had some damage on it. Uh, I'll just list the picture now. So I just put it inside a tent in one day, got a new door, same color with it. Uh, this door was scratched as well, has some damage on this side here, so I just painted it all in. And it came out bloody amazing. Even the uh, the match on the paint is really, really good. 
I mean, you won't you won't be able to tell that it's been painted unless you know about paint. <laughs> Simple as that. So um, this one has been really well as well. We we bought it for four thousand pounds. We paid uh, one hundred and uh, less than two hundred pounds for the door. I think it's one hundred eighty. Can't remember exactly. And um, for paint, I paid about to fully paint it. I think it costed me less than 50 pounds in materials so yeah again the advantage of learning to do stuff because eight months ago i haven't had a clue how to hold a paint gun yeah um what else um, i don't know what to say the thing is now we kind of need a lot of soap because today uh i sold the mercedes cls which i haven't made a video on it i took it in part exchange for the old Mercedes E-Class I had in here sitting for bloody five months and finally that one sold and I took this one in part exchange which I paid some extra money on it more than the part exchange value just to see the other one gone uh, this one is sold literally in three hours after I listed it which is weird for a CLS 320 2009 mm, but the guy was exactly what he was wanting so probably I've been either what time with the car available so the guy came over look around he bought it straight away made a few, few bits of not too much money on it about 400 pounds on the extra on the part exchange with 1300 pounds on the mercedes not bad for two cars and uh yeah the hyundai here uh we took a deposit on it but the lady she just left in holiday afterwards and or not holiday she works on a ship and stuff so she went to morocco yeah boy and um uh she will be picking up which is coming back in April, the beginning of April, so that'll be fine. And uh, Dacia here, which had new engine in it as well. Uh, <laughs> um, this one hopefully will be picked up today. Well, someone inquired about it some time ago, then changed their mind and they want to see it because what they found, uh, it wasn't what they expected it to be. And uh, yeah, things are moving. What can I say? But the yard is empty now, so the yard is really, really empty. I don't know what to do and where to get the stock from, because lately we've been buying a bit of more, uh, not from the auction, not from the private as well, which is brought from uh, other dealers, mainly. I have some people around. They kind of source these uh, light damaged cars and stuff like that with no insurance records and stuff like that on it, so having the advantage of painting them here. Um, we will we will buy them. It's pretty, it's really chilly outside. Um, yeah, so bastards on the wall. They will be gone soon. I decided that no fucking way I will be spending any more fucking pennies on these bastards. Doesn't matter what company it is, I will not be spending any money on it. It's a waste of complete money from every point of view. Unless the car is probably, let's say, three years old um, and it's 20,000 miles, you know. That's, I think that's the only way when they will not have, it, have anything to say regarding the wear and tear or the end of the life parts, you know, because <laughs> for the last two weeks, which I'll make a more in-depth video again regarding this, uh, I did spend a lot of time um, checking for uh, other warranty companies and putting a lot of questions and stuff like that. And guess what? They're all the same. they all the same. The only difference is they have a different wording, but at the end of the day it comes to the same thing. They will not cover for any fucking thing. Simple as that. Do not waste your money on them. Trust me. I know what I'm saying. Uh, and I haven't had claims like horrible claims and stuff like that. But I was, as I was telling in the video before when I did it uh, two weeks ago, um, I would have been probably more than... 10,000 pounds now in plus with them, you know, for the money, for the repairs I have to, I had to pay for people to have the car fixed, so don't do it. So yeah, that's kind of the update. Uh, I'll make a full video with uh, transformation on the Kuga because uh, mainly, to be honest, I would like to do this for the channel, not because uh, we'll, we'll get the money back on it, uh, just to make it for the channel to see what kind of profits we can make out because to be honest this is a 2995 retail value car which i think is worth the money uh it's got nearly brand new tires on it new clutch uh, engine sounds right the cam belt has been done so all in all yeah makes the sense and for someone which can buy a car like this for a uh, thousand five hundred let's say they can sell it for maybe two eight two nine they can make good money from home especially 
yeah, good money. On this one, probably we're not gonna get too much of the money back, but we'll do probably good content for the channel. So yeah, see you again with a new video, uh, probably within a few days now. I do have a lot of footage, which I have to edit, and I'm quite lazy to do it. Yeah, well, people are not subscribing to the channel too much anyway, so... Mm, where's the motivation, pal? <laughs> Anyway, yeah, that's not an issue. I'll be doing it because I enjoy doing it, but kind of have to prioritize things uh, against YouTube, you know? It is what it is. So, subscribe. And see you in a video soon. Take care.